In 1992, a peace agreement between the two warring parties brought the civil war to an end. El Salvador was at peace once more, and economic activity picked up. Investment flowed into the country and entrepreneurs began to take advantage of new business opportunities. At this time, USAID invested tens of millions of dollars in technical assistance across a broad range of activities and institutions. Much of this assistance focused on the largely underserved microenterprise area. Cuando empezamos en el garage de mi papá, yo no sabía del programa de Propemi, sino que vine conociendo del programa en el 87. Cuando la demanda empezó a la, al dos meses empezó a ser muy fuerte, empezamos a prestar para hornos de mampostería a Propemi. Fue así que hicimos el primero pero como también la demanda, íbamos, éramos como una espuma efervescente, se hizo otro préstamo a Propemi para otro horno y así sucesivamente íbamos eh, comprando equipo porque la demanda era, no damos abasto. SMEs, or small and medium enterprises, are the engine of any given economy. They account for the lion's share of employment and job creation. And if small and medium enterprises are the engine, credit is the fuel. We have realized that small entrepreneurs are the motor of the economy. This is something very important for us because we are trying to create employment. Cuando inició el taller, mi hermano, yo y otros dos empleados. A esas alturas, la compañía Quest cuenta más o menos con unos 70 empleados. Es bien importante para la economía porque le damos fuente de, 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 de empleo a los trabajadores. Cuando empecé en el garage de mi papá, estábamos de, de tres, tres gentes elaborando. Eh, ahorita actualmente estaríamos llegando a, a darle de fuente de empleo a más de 200 personas. Currently, with the economy growing at a brisk pace, USAID continues to foster financial sector development in a holistic way, and its investments have resulted not only in a broad range of financial sector players serving different market niches, but also with convergence between the informal and formal banking sector. El desarrollo de Propemi al final, yo creo que vamos a hablar posteriormente, ha sido sumamente, digamos, espectacular, porque de eso se... 4.5 millones que sirvió, que fue el primer capital semilla. Después eh, hemos llegado a otorgar casi 300 millones de dólares en créditos, después de 21 años. Pero también el empresario necesitaba otras claves de servicio, cuentas de ahorro, eh, cuentas corrientes, necesitaban tarjetas de crédito, otros servicios bancarios que nosotros no los podíamos dar. Entonces dijimos, bueno, se va a tomar esta decisión y en lugar de graduar al cliente, Vamos a graduar el programa. Possibly the most gratifying moment for me as director of this project was when I heard about the acquisition of Propemi by our partner Banco de América Central. In one fell swoop, they have uh, brought 1,700 small enterprises into the formal banking sector. This isn't about charity anymore. This is about business that is working to help reduce poverty. Con la ayuda de USAID eh, adquirimos la operación de Propemi y esto pues nos dio una ventaja competitiva bastante fuerte contra la competencia, ya que no estamos iniciando de cero, sino que con una cartera existente y no solo una cartera, pero un grupo de profesionales capacitados en todo lo que es atención a pymes. What this means for Propemi's clients is that they will continue to be serviced by the Propemi staff whom have been their business partners over the course of these many years in which they've worked with them, but at the same time having access to a full range of commercial bank products and capabilities, which is something Propemi was not able to provide them. Banco de América Central, as a regional organization, is looking to replicate what they have done here with Propemi in a no number of other countries around the region, and that's 
very powerful. You know, no question, the story of Propemi is a, is a fascinating story. It's taken 20 years to see the kind of evolution in El Salvador's financial system, to see the kind of evolution where you have uh, microfinance institutions loaning to small entrepreneurs, where you have the big banks that used to only lend to the, the big boys suddenly lending to small and medium enterprises. This is how USAID has come full circle in El Salvador, having 20 some years ago assisted in the establishment of Propemi, only to have Propemi acquired by a bank participating in another USAID project. Short-term investments are necessary and, and important, but we can't lose sight of the fact that long-term investments are what lead to long-term change. Here in El Salvador, it's become apparent to me that AID has made a real difference you know, in developing these industries, but more fundamentally in improving the livelihoods of so many Salvadorans. And at the end of the day, that's basically what this program is about.